media interview uh, mm -hmm. before for back home, like the paper one. Yeah. But this one is the first uh, video interview. Oh, uh, I'm so lucky, sis. Yes, you are, and I'm uh, lucky to have you as well. Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's finish off our video, did yeah. okay. okay. Thank you very much, Sudo. Thank, thank you, everybody, for watching. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. It's your home, guys, Sudo. And in today's episode, guess what? I'm back with another creative talks. And in today's episode, I'm going to interview my most amazing amazing sister ever who inspired me and guess what if you don't know her the fact thing about her is that she was one of the first Nepalese British Nepalese who started YouTube and fashion blog in my opinion eh? I don't know about yours but let's go and check her out come on guys Ding -tong. come on guys <laughs> nice to see you Welcome to my home, guys, and to Snook as well. Oh, thank you. So, yeah, Didi, our cousin, eh? Upstairs, let's go, Mati Mati, upstairs to my room. Okay. Okay, so you guys are welcome to my space. So this is my bedroom. Oh, wow. Yes, see? I've already been there. <laughs> this favorite spot. This one is my favorite spot where I film most of the time. Yeah. yeah. And that is my dressing table, which is a mess at the moment. Wow. And beautiful closet. Oh my god, look at the mirror. Look at me, guys. I've already been to the um, Didi's room before, anyway. So, look how beautiful is Didi's room. Look at the window. Anyway, so. Shall we get ready, Didi? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Grab yourself a cup of tea or something like that. And be comfortable and watch this video because this video might get a little bit long. First thing I want to ask my sister every time I ask is the same question. Question. I want them to introduce about themselves. Okay, um, hi everyone. I'm Sarita Rai. I write a fashion blog, fashionbeautyblog.com, and I also make a YouTube videos. I have been doing this for the last six years, so I basically I started in 2010. Talking about my academic qualification, I have done my Masters in Human Resource Management from Middlesex University and uh, University. I have had extensive work experience from office environment to banking industry. Currently, I am on my career break at the moment and awaiting fast baby. So as she already mentioned that she's been blogging mm. for the past six years, but I think YouTubing as well. Did you start? Yeah, at the same really? time, yes. Oh my God. I started in 2010 at the same time when I started my blog. Okay. Yeah. I didn't knew, I didn't knew this, you know, because me as a blogger and a YouTuber, I started blogging first and then YouTubing come came come later, later. Yeah, later. Yeah. So to be honest, Malata Didi, I didn't knew what is blogging, I didn't knew what is YouTubing, okay. I didn't knew generally what is fashion designer mm. girl. So I was so dumb and still I'm so thick but who cares? I'm not embarrassed. I, yeah. I just go with the flow and I learn every time I learn new things and Tabay, you say, I just want to ask you, did you know what is, obviously you know what is blogging, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. what, how did you manage to, what, what was the inspiration for you behind the scene to start, start a blog? blog yeah. How it started was basically, um, I always used to get a lot of compliments from my friends about my fashion sense, like mm -hmm. the way I style, what the way I dress. and. Uh, um, I used to get that a lot from like very you know from my teenage years and when I moved back to here and a lot of friends you know like I said before they used to like my style and then I just thought maybe why not you know start a blog and you know share my fashion like styling mm -hmm. ideas and um, show, show the people what you know fashion is all about and you know blogging was fairly new at that time in yeah. 2010 not many people were doing it and it got quite popular after a couple of years and that was the far motivation that motivated me towards the blogging world and when I actually started my blog I didn't tell anyone that was mm -hmm. my blog so I started my blog and YouTube on the same time on my Facebook page as well in 2010 so what I did was I sent this in you can invite people for your page to like mm -hmm. so I sent an invitation to all the people or my friends on my Facebook and even my best friends and um, I've got a couple of best friends like two or three and I didn't tell them that it was my blog and when I, I think I blogged about makeup or something like that that was my first post um, 
and there was nothing to do with my pictures nobody could you know I didn't um, do like an outfit mm -hmm. or my face or mm -hmm. you know like show my face or post a picture of my face or my outfit I liked the page and when they saw the um, that, that blog and they started one day they started talking to me they were like oh have you seen this page fashion beauty blog and <gasps> there's a blog and it's fairly nice and I was like I was like that is mine <laughs> Oh they, were like, oh. they were like, why didn't you tell me? And I was like, I'm quite shy and I'm like, I'm not too sure how people will take that. Mm -hmm. And from when I started vlogging as well, the first thing I did was I didn't want it to show my face. So what I did was, I still remember, I uploaded like my outfit picture, but I had like my... I had like a watermark over my face, so oh my not many God. people could see, yeah. you know. I was comfortable, but I was not sure what to mm -hmm. expect from the... Um, you know the blogging mm -hmm. world and yeah when I did that everybody was like and I started posting my pictures as well with my watermark on my face and everybody was like oh it's such a nice outfit and all that but why have you got that watermark on your <laughs> face and that is the point where I realized that people really liked my content and my style so I decided to show my face as well so mm -hmm. I started to remove all those watermarks and in new post I posted all my picture with my face <laughs> oh that's very yeah. sweet that's very like inspiring to look at in back in the t days 2010 you know in 2010 i was so oh my god did i was like oh, no way no way i didn't understand what is blogging and mm. you got such a positive reaction from yes, your I friends did, yeah. and from your families Family as well, as well yeah. so um, who was your inspiration to look at being a blogger so yeah who inspired mm. you to blog that time that time, um, I remember a blogger from London, she was very famous, and she's still famous, she was called Susie Bubble. Oh, She yeah, has got very yeah. quirky okay, style and all yeah. that, and I really liked her style and her blogging content. Yeah. She really inspired yeah, she me. She in was sense. really yeah, popular she was back really in the days. Really yeah, London. she's still popular, yeah, but she's still yeah, she has got a very different style. And I yeah. used to, uh, you know, um, check her blog and a long time ago. Uh. So I actually came to study here on student visa, but my dad was here and. Um, also, uh, after a year in 2005, they, uh, you know, because uh, the Gurkhas were given the right yeah. to live in the UK, so I had the opportunity mm. to uh, reside in the UK with my parents. So yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So you must be very academic, eh, this is. I think I have alright. Yeah, because I remember you like vlogging and YouTubing, blogging and YouTubing yeah. eh, for the first time, and I didn't understand what was that. Okay, to be honest, yeah. I I promise eh, I didn't understand what was that. And that time I remember Lex Limbo used to do a YouTubing as YouTube, well, yes, but I yes. didn't I didn't knew that he did a blog. But mm. I remember watching his video, yeah, okay, uh, mm. how to get rid of the pimple, and he mm -hmm. put powder on it, and I was like, what? Yeah, you used to do quite a lot of YouTube videos. So it was videos quite time. fun to watch. Yeah. I mean, I remember Didi's video. I watched her. You did a video, something about hair, yeah, hair, hair tutorial, and mm. fashion haul. And I, I honestly didn't understand what was you doing, but I found very interesting. Mm -hmm. And I used to look back, and, <laughs> and now I can't even believe that I am sitting with you. you and I'm Thank doing you. YouTubing, and I am. I got this opportunity to be with you, and I just think like how faith you know collides mm. us together and yeah. how it's like you know it's so surreal yeah, yeah it is yeah anyway it, it is bizarre yeah. but the thing is like about blogging as well i noticed um when i first started i just wanted to share my fashion you know style i wanted to give people maybe a little bit of fashion tips even though i'm not like a stylist mm. uh, share my you know like how i wear my outfit and all that but i found out later uh, within a couple of months into blogging i found out like um, you know, it was a means of really communicating with people. Mm -hmm. I actually managed to meet so many, you know, incredible people from uh, obviously other fellow bloggers and uh, obviously Lix Limbo as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that was such a big opportunity. Like I met you as well because yeah. of YouTube. Yeah, I met so many people. incredible people because of YouTube and they know who they are anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sister and my family, they know each other, each other from well. back home. And it's so like Unsani <laughs> Kosto. Mm. Magical, yeah. Mm, so it like is, it yeah. mean to happen, yeah. Mm. So anyway, my blogging name is Sunu Sunu, mm. and it's very personal to me. Mm. And I just want to ask you, what was the reason you named your blog oh. name Fashion Beauty Blog? How it started was, um, I did a lot of brainstorming at first. I wanted something very catchy as well, so that people can remember. And I remember, um, you know, that time thinking about so many names and. 
but I wanted to name fashion as well and beauty as well at the same time and because I wanted to write a blog about not just fashion but be beauty as well so I thought the combination of those both names fashion oh, and beauty okay, would be quite yeah. good because I'm so much into fashion and um and into beauty as well but I felt like that moment I felt like um, I was bitten by like a bug mm. fashion and beauty bug and that is why the name came up and fashion and I kind of like combined those three mm. words together fashion beauty and then bug yeah so that was the basically how the name came up after a lot of brainstorming being a blogger I've been stalking you for a long time <laughs> not in a bad way you know in a good way <laughs> so I have seen your fashion styling sense has developed a lot looking back at it now so just describe your own personal style sis my personal style used to be, if I have to go in the past, I was a very girly girl. Mm -hmm. uh, but I used to be a tomboy when I was there. Oh my when God! I, was like, I, I could not I say that. I used to play with boys. I was like, I used to play with boys oh and I used God. to get along with boys oh a lot. Oh my so dark horse, guys. Oh my <laughs> and God. my mom used to tell me of all the time, she used to tell me like, oh, you should dress like a girl. I used to dress like a girl, but yeah, you know, I was more into mm. kind of like boys stuff, you know, playing with guns and <laughs> playing with cars and all that I used to play doll as well but sometimes I had like kind of like a balance of both and because I had two younger brothers mm -hmm. as well and they were kind of like friends with me and yeah she used to tell me oh you should be doing this you should be sitting like this way sitting that way I learned that really late as well in my life I think probably before I think in early teenage I was like okay okay I should be doing mm -hmm. this and I should be doing that but I used to be a very girly girl and um, and I used, used to read a lot of Archie comics like oh Veronica God, and Betty. Yeah. That used to be my favorite. I remember I, that. Yeah, I remember like, you know, reading those. Who was your favorite? Mine was like Betty. I used to like oh, Betty. I love Veronica <laughs> with dark hair. Yeah, yeah. she's very. Yeah. She used to be very sexy. Betty was like, she's not very sexy, but she can be very, you know, mm. like you, you were saying, yeah. dark horse. Mm. Yeah, she can yeah. be very sexy at times. And I used to like that. To go to my auntie's place who had like a stack of Archie comics. Mm -hmm. And I used to love the clothes they were wearing. Yeah, oh my God. Because we didn't used yeah. to get that type of clothes uh, in Nepal that, that, no. that time. Gradually, my style has changed because I think I've come older as well. And then in time as well, you learn a lot of things. And yeah, it, it is kind of like very different. I'm very mini minimalistic at the moment. I hardly wear accessories. I very I wear very few accessories. I don't, I'm not much into earrings and accessories. I don't know if I'm growing old. <laughs> <laughs> like I like, I'm much more into tailored trousers, uh, skinny mm -hmm. jeans and, you know, very, com I like to wear com comfortable clothing, I would say. I'm not much into dresses at the moment, but I do wear them sometimes. Uh, yeah, that is my style at the moment, I would say. Mm -hmm. It's a slightly different than what I used to be before. Okay. Yeah. So I just want to ask you, like, do you think uh, your style has developed because of blogging? Or even though if you haven't blogged, mm -hmm. would your style be different? What do you think? I, I think... I think even if I was not blogging, mm -hmm. my style would have been different, I would say. But blogging has helped a lot uh, because you grow every year. Mm -hmm. Because you look back on your you know, pictures and you are like, sometimes you are like, what the hell was I wearing? Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, you grow every year and you see also the thing is, the fashion is not about just about you, it's also about other people like who inspires you. There are so many people out there, not just famous people who are famous bloggers but day, day, day in day out like uh, you see people on the street as well wearing yeah. really nice outfit and when I see that I'm just like oh my god that's really nice mm -hmm. you know like how they style it I mm -hmm. really like it I get inspired by people on the street or normal people on Instagram who is not very famous yes. or you know who's normal people like us and also like bloggers as well okay I just want to ask you sister is that what is your favorite uh, fashion era for me, I would say 60s, 70s, um, you know, that, that was like really good time, mm -hmm. good era, especially the woman used to be like dressed very yeah. classy, Yeah. everybody had like that nice beehive hair. Yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. Nepal was like, mini skirt was very trendy back mm -hmm. in the days, like mini skirt and high long boots, long boots yeah. Yeah. on Aptro ring. I remember that, yeah, what? I oh think God. it is, yeah, yeah, that, that era is really... Belly buttons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I asked you about your fashion styling um, icon. Who, so you talked about like uh, Style Bubble was your inspiration back in the days. But 
so after a few years you know you develop a lot of style and it it, it changes you know so who is your current style icon uh, I love Alexa Chung uh, I love her style she's like more boyish man mm -hmm. man type I, I could style. not say that you know when you said that Alexa <laughs> Chung I was like oh my god what <laughs> I love her style but I don't dress yeah. up like her because I feel like it doesn't suit me that much mm. because I'm kind of like I feel like um, a lot of stuff like a girly mm -hmm. stuff and very you know uh, dresses and other yeah minimalistic I'm into it I do like um, Sandra from five inches and up she has got block five inches and up I like her oh, I don't style know. it is oh. nice as well and Chriselle Lim Oh, oh even yeah style. even Natasha likes Chriselle Lim mm. yeah and then uh, when it comes to celebrity, I I do like Kendall Jenner's uh, style as well. I do not know mm. her. I am okay. not kind of like celebrity person. Yeah, I do like Gigi Hadid as well. Uh, her style is good. And yeah, Nepalis, maybe we should talk about Nepalese. Yeah, so why not? Yeah. Well. I'm yeah. thinking about Bollywood or something. <laughs> I do like Sonam Kapoor's style. Oh, Sonam Kapoor, yeah. Really she's nice not taste. Nepalese. No, <laughs> Nepalese one. Uh, okay. Priyanka Karki is quite good. Because um, she's styled by Sayal Shrestha and he's really, really good. He has got a very good sense about oh, fashion. Oh, she has got her own stylist. Yeah, she she wears her, um, you know, she sometimes put together her own outfit, I mm -hmm. think. But whenever Sayal does it, she gives a mention to Sayal on her Instagram mm -hmm. saying, uh, styled by Sayal. Um, yeah, he's quite good. Um, he knows a lot about fashion, you know, what suits her. So now we're going to talk about clothes, eh? So okay. who is your favorite? high street brands and all i'm so much more into high street if i have to be honest because it's so affordable mm -hmm. and also because you know every year fashion changes as well the trend changes as well and it's easier if on high street you are not spending a lot of money on clothes and then when you have to you know you don't have when you throw away you don't feel that guilt mm -hmm. but if you're buying uh, like a uh, big brand yeah. you don't want to throw away throw that stuff uh, uh, un until you have worn mm -hmm. that for a few years and um, talking about high street i do like top shop mm -hmm. um, i do like new look as well uh, not much into River Island these days. I don't think they have got quite good uh, stuff at the moment. Um, H and M, I do go there, but I, I struggle when I go to H and M because um, I do like their basic um, outfits, like basic tees mm -hmm. and all that. It is good, and I actually shop online a lot. These oh, days. I know, yeah. sis, you are so online shopper. I couldn't shop at online. Anyway, so now we're gonna talk about you know. When I saw her way back, it's only way back, I saw her in the magazine and you know, people <laughs> talking about interviews and, then, and I was like, oh my god, this sister is quite popular, you know? <laughs> so, did, did that popularity and all made you like a different person or how, how did you feel about your popularity, about your interview with the magazine and okay. all? Um, I actually got noticed very early on my blogging I started my blogging exactly in like January I don't remember the exact date but it was in January 2010 and within like four or five months I think it was around July time June July time I got a, a email from Republica oh, and yeah. they they wanted to interview me and at, at first I didn't believe it mm -hmm. because I just thought that was some sort of like joke people yeah. was trying to do on me luckily that person was genuine and I never see myself to be honest I I've had so many interviews back home, but I never see myself as a famous person or, or, or you know, I never consider myself, oh, I'm very popular. You know, I just consider myself as a normal girl who is into blogging, who loves mm -hmm. fashion. And um, in here as well, um, I, I don't think, I don't consider myself popular and also I don't consider myself like a celebrity or I've got fan. I don't consider that because I do my job, I go to work, you know, I come back and I do kind of like this blogging and this YouTube is kind of like my um, hobby only. Mm -hmm. It's I'm, I'm kind of like serious but not serious at the same time. Mm -hmm. I hope it makes sense. Yeah. And yeah, I do like to do it because it make, it gives me a sense of satisfaction. Yeah. Um, but my interest, it is, it is one of my interests but my career lies in different paths yeah. and also um, popularity hasn't changed me much. It's more about uh, content you know 
interesting producing inter interesting content and videos rather than you know quality videos rather than the quantity I don't cause I don't have a lot of followers if I have to be honest rather mm -hmm. than having lots of followers but not um, being true to myself mm -hmm. and true to my followers mm -hmm. so yeah it hasn't changed me a lot but I, I don't consider myself to be a very popular to be honest yeah okay. being a Nepalese blogger or youtuber how do you feel because in in I personally I would like to say you know me being a blogger Nepalese blogger and youtuber I feel very unsani very sad sometimes because I'm just gonna say this <laughs> okay, okay, because okay. they don't understand what I'm doing mm. you know they don't get it they just think that I want to be famous it's not that you know it's so blogging and youtubing is so personal to me and it has genuinely helped me to grow my self-confidence okay so how do you feel being a Nepalese blogger do you get any negative comments or do you do you want to say anything to you to the, to the people yeah. who is watching at the moment um, when I started it was not a huge thing mm -hmm. like not many people knew what fashion blog was uh, uh, especially in Nepal yeah. and whenever uh, people found me and they would be like what are you doing you know are you a fashion uh, designer are you a fashion student and I was like no I'm not a fashion student I, I just write a blog and basically I had to tell them that it was sort of kind of like a website yeah. my own website where I put up you know um, outfit of the day of take a picture of my, myself and put it up and just write about what I'm wearing and mm -hmm. I talked about beauty stuff and that is how I generally used to tell people but I didn't used to get a lot of negative comments mm -hmm. and it, at first I was like oh I'm gonna get you know everybody becomes that bit of into a sector that you have never been before mm -hmm. like never experienced never really you really don't know very much what to expect from so I was at first initially I was like oh maybe I'll get a lot of you know like bad comments and negative comments but uh, most of the time I got really good feedback from people and that is what motivated me as well oh, wow. to do better if it's a con just constructive criticism then I actually take that in very well like what they are saying if they are giving me advice if they are saying but some some of the people they need to uh, know uh, when they are crossing the line mm -hmm. especially um, constructive criticism helps everybody but not the personal attack ones and uh, whenever I read them I just feel uh, I just feel like I don't even kind of like think about it too much when I read it I I try to reply them anyway and I'll, I'll just try to uh, make them feel positive about themselves anyway but I feel pity on people like yeah, they have got so much time on their hands just to you know um, attack personally on someone who they don't know because um, they personally don't know us at all like they don't know you when they are writing to you, you behind the computer we don't even know who that person is anyway and they don't know us in a person and they are basically judging us on the fact that you know what we are talking and to go into social media and you know when you are doing video of yourself or when you are blogging as well you have to have a very thick skin and I've learned that over the years as well like um, and I normally don't think about it there are so many you just need to think about the positive side because you just need to think like there are so many people supporting you mm -hmm. rather than just that one person or two person who is not you know into um, into what you are doing yeah. but I feel like I feel grateful that mm -hmm. they are taking time to write those comments and they are actually watching my videos or reading my blog because you know actually they are doing you know yeah. look checking out what I am doing even though it's a negative comment so yeah, yeah. And also I have asked my uh, Instagram people anything they want to ask my sister so I've got a few questions okay, okay B? Okay, let's see. Number one, Nitika Bura Magar. Oh my god. Hi, oh, her Instagram name is Nitika is bored. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are you really bored? <laughs> Grab yourself a guitar and mic and start singing. I left bored ones there. Okay. How are you feeling about being a mother soon? Congratulations, sis. Oh, thank you, Nitika. Um, I'm very excited with this phase of my life. Like I said, you know, we talked yeah. very briefly about my pregnancy. And I feel so blessed that I've got this new life growing inside me. And yeah, I can't wait to see my baby's face. I think I'll probably cry when I see oh, my baby yeah. first time. When I went for like um, my first scan, I actually had tears on my eyes. Oh my and it's such a good feeling. Like I could feel my baby mm. moving and 
you know, you could understand your baby inside the womb already. And when she, the baby comes out, I think it will be an incredible yeah. moment for me as well, my hubby and then yeah, our family. It's a blessing, isn't it? It's a safe? blessing. I, I, I don't know because I have not experienced that yeah. journey. So I, I don't it's know. It's an amazing it's feeling. feeling. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, you get like a very different feeling. Um, for me, it's one of the experiences I really want to experience in life and I always wanted to be a mother and when the time right time came and I'm so glad uh, uh, you know I think you can see on my face that how yeah. happy I am <laughs> yeah. oh so sweet of you I'm so happy the okay let's see um, who else? okay so another is official Joe's Guru hi Joe <laughs> <laughs> what made you start YouTube and how do you manage to be so calm and collective with regards to YouTube, um, I was kind of like debating with myself whether I should do YouTube or not because oh. um, in 2010 YouTube was not as big as it it, it is now and uh, I only kind of like wanted to do fashion videos and then not much in, not, not much of beauty. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to do a lot of hairstyle because I was mm -hmm. I'm into more sort of into hairstyle. I love doing different type of hairstyle. Like you were saying, Michelle Fan, yeah, Fan, Fan for yeah. yeah, Michelle mm -hmm. Fan. She was quite popular at that time, and, uh, and I used to watch her videos as well. And I, I I I kind of like feel like she was one of the person that inspired me as well. Like she has inspired so many people. Yes, isn't she has. It? Yeah, oh yeah. God. She was the pioneer of YouTube, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to beauty and fashion. She was I would call her the pioneer who who was the first one to start and inspired people and she also inspired me to some extent I would say and I just thought why not you know because I used to do a lot of nice hairstyles and I always used to get compliment on my hairstyle and my fashion so I just thought why not you know do a video and instead of just taking picture and blogging about it why not show people how to do it mm -hmm. and I felt like that would be another um, great platform to showcase my you know creativity and also mm -hmm. meet different people as well and that is how YouTube started mm -hmm. And to this um, second question, like he is asking, calm and collective. Um, I am a very calm person, if I have to honestly. Yeah, my personality is very. I'm very calm. You know, I do get. Uh, I'm not aggressive, but I do get. Sometimes I do get angry, but it just calms. I calm myself down very quickly. A very. I'm a very positive person, and I always believe in karma. Whatever mm -hmm. goes round comes back round. And yeah, I think it's my personality, one of my personality, that is why I'm very patient as well. Oh my god, yeah. I'm not patient. That's why you can see my videos. Yeah. <laughs> can't. Yeah. With so. YouTube videos, I can't be patient. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now finally, I'm, I'm back in blogging mm. after four months. <laughs> Four months. months yeah. yeah, I thought I decided to myself that I need to come back as blogging, being a YouTuber. Do you think it's important to be a YouTuber, blogging? blogging? Is it important? Uh, think? I think it is quite important to have a blog at the moment. But the thing is, I found out like um, so many people found me from YouTube. They don't even know I do blog, mm. and it's very different. Yeah, like yeah. people who yeah. read um, my blog, fashionbeautyblog.com, they know that I do YouTube as well. But then, um, if they found me through YouTube, they don't know that I do blog, mm -hmm. and I was like quite, you know, I was quite, I was quite surprised. But I think at the moment the blog is slowly dying, and mm -hmm. YouTube is kind of like growing. Everybody wants to watch YouTube videos yeah. rather than reading blog. So um, I feel like there is still, a, you know, you, uh, necessary to have, still necessary to have blog, but. Um, YouTube is much. YouTube has become much more greater platform for people rather than blog. I would say. Yeah, yeah and that's the reason I came into YouTube. YouTube because yeah, I think true. media is very powerful, and you know people can see your personality more. Yeah, yeah. and that's the reason. Because I when you are blogging, it's only pictures, and you yeah. are just writing a few words. Yeah. But when you are on the video, then they can see your you know expression, yeah. your personality. Um, you know. Your, your everything about everything, you yeah. like more about you not on a personal level but to some level they can see it yeah. say, do you regret blogging and YouTubing no not at all okay. like I said before I've met so many incredible people through YouTube and uh, blogging like I met you as well I met some people from media uh, back home in Nepal mm -hmm. so I don't regret it at all I would actually encourage um, if you know if it's feel like you got it uh, you know you've got good fashion sense and you can do this YouTube and blogging then 
I would encourage people to go and do it. Mm -hmm. It's such a great opportunity for me. It has, you know, it has been a, such a great journey as well. Um, and every year you grow and every year you learn about more about yourself as well. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like um, accepting yourself as a person as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah so it is. Um, it's a great opportunity, great platform. Anybody, you know, who wants to use uh, YouTube or want to do blog, go ahead and do it yeah i'm very fan you know i've been watching you for such a long time i mentioned it before and before and again 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 i've been mentioning it a lot but you know didi i genuinely love your travel vlogs oh, oh thank my you. god it's so like you know when you watch it you go so deep into it like the way you, oh, you. um alter it the way you mm. say it's so like fairy tales and it was the so how did you inspire to do travel so oh. any travel um, I always wanted to travel and mm -hmm. I always had that um, kind of I would say travel bug inside me from uh, my um, like early life mm -hmm. because I grew up in different countries being my dad charm I would mm -hmm. say was I grew up in um, Hong Kong Brunei and uh, Nepal different countries mm -hmm. um, and in, during my teenage years, I always wanted to travel. And when I came here, and the, the opportunity is so great here. You can yeah, travel, you know, especially the Europe mm -hmm. is really good to travel from here. And yeah, that is how the traveling um, kind of like the journey began. And I just thought, you know, why not put that on video on YouTube, I would say basically. The majority of time, what I found was like, um, people were uploading travel vlogs, but without much information. Mm -hmm. There will be like people doing fun and all that stuff, but they are not telling you exactly where they are going, how they are traveling. And I found that kind of like, uh, gap mm -hmm. in the you on the YouTube so I just thought maybe um, maybe there are people who do like yeah. what I'm doing but I felt like there was very less people mm -hmm. and uh, I thought it would be informative when um, if I start doing that and giving people out like where I am exactly how I traveled and that is how um, the idea initial idea of travel vlog started and uh, yeah i went to a few countries mm -hmm. and then decided to do travel vlog and did it and i got really good feedback from yeah, people yeah that's really amazing yeah. Yeah. oh my god if you guys <laughs> haven't seen her travel vlogs then please do because it's very informative i Thank love her you. travel vlogs <laughs> anyway so I, w I would like to say ask you that you know so now you're having a baby mm -hmm. and you might be very busy in the future mm -hmm. so um, what's your plan are you gonna take care uh, not sure if I'm going to take gap. I, I I've taken gap before as well when I went to do my masters. Uh, after a year into doing YouTube, I actually went away for nearly three years because I was focusing on my studies and my career. I'm not sure what I'll do. Um, I think I'll just go with flow. Mm -hmm. I don't have any plans at the moment to say like, oh, I'll be doing this, I'll be doing that. But uh, I'll just go with flow. Let's see how it, you know, mm -hmm. how, time. how it goes. Yeah, mm -hmm. where the time takes me as well. And maybe um, if I'm too busy, I might do one video a month. Mm -hmm. So I just want to ask her sister. Is another question. It just came in my head that you know, mm -hmm. it's about London Fashion Week. Uh, you've been currently been invited from London Fashion Week mm -hmm. to so go and watch her catwalk designers catwalk so anything you want to talk about it sister um i started going to london fashion week uh from 2011 that was my first time um that time i just went as a normal you know not as a blogger mm -hmm. just went as a normal person I, I went to london fashion weekend that time like i bought my tickets and just went to yeah. see the fashion so then i was so mesmerized by the fashion oh. so it was so good and i was like i was kind of like it was very short fashion so like five to six minutes um i was taken away i was like oh my god so i went to their uh lot of fashion week uh page because i wanted to wanted to get registered as a blogger and i registered as a blogger and what you have to do uh when you have done it you have to email each individual designers so uh, you email each individual designers ask saying you know you you write this blog blah 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 your start is your stats it's this much and you you kind of like you know every month you get this much of follower and why you want to attend the show so you write to everybody oh okay. it's, it's kind of like very tiring as well mm -hmm. because uh, uh, what, what i did first was i wrote about maybe 25 20 50 people email them every time and sometimes you don't hear back 
from them and sometimes you do and luckily I heard back from a couple of designers Antipodium and Temperley London oh yeah I yeah them. and uh, that is how I went for the next two years and then in 2000 I think it was 12 I think next year uh, I approached uh, ECS Living magazine again and I said to them I would love to do a cover for London Fashion Week for your magazine and they were up for it they were like oh okay so they were like what do you need and they just need to prove that I work for them not really work I work as I'm gonna work as a freelance writer for them and so they just did a letter for me they wrote a letter for me and I approached London Fashion Week again and then I said to them okay so I am gonna write up you know um, article on London Fashion Week on a Nepalese magazine and then I that is how they invited me oh my god that's mm -hmm. amazing I think there is a big market yeah. still yeah Nepalese it, there is that. a big market oh my god and that is the first time yeah. yeah that is the first time I represented myself and I think I, I was I would probably say I, I was the first one to represent as a Nepal, Nepal mm. Nepalese media yeah. as a Nepalese blogger and I I had it um, on on my kind of like um, you know they give you an ID ID badge yeah oh, ID badge I got it here but I think it's somewhere in my garage okay. at the moment and um, it says Nepalese blogger oh my god and I was that's so amazing. I was so proud I was like oh Nepalese blogger because you don't get to see that oh I I registered as a Nepalese blogger rather than a London blogger because I yeah. I thought that would be Being quite a Nepalese, special it's yeah. very yeah. big thing for our country then. yeah I think we need to do this. <laughs> coming here but I think <laughs> yeah. and then yeah so they published the article oh my god Didi, yeah. you have to help me to go in London Fashion Week yeah. so I can like yeah. do it's very like when it's a very proud moment oh my god, yeah. it's such an amazing experience yeah. as well you get to learn so you get you get so many inspiring people it's not just it's not just the uh, fashion you know bloggers mm. or just the designer you get when you see when you go there you see the crowd yeah. and there's so much more you know it's so hippie it's very fashionable and you get inspiration from every corner yeah. and I think every yeah. fashion student or anybody interested in fashion should once go there mm -hmm. in their lifetime I would definitely recommend people to go there yeah. that's amazing yeah. so, um, so it's a great place to hang out I mean like even if you don't get invite from designers you can always mm -hmm. hang around in London Fashion Week there will be a lot of photographers taking yes. pictures and there will be a lot of people you know mm -hmm. so you went by yourself yes I went by myself that's that very time. brave you know <laughs> that's very brave sis. um in 2011 I contacted George mm -hmm. George Google. so you so, can take invite people oh. uh, free ticket don't you have no 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 that no they only give you uh, one tickets oh. because I because I registered as a Nepalese blogger or Nepalese media so I was only given one ticket mm -hmm. unless if you have a uh, photographer for whom you'll have to get out of the tickets but that had that person has to be registered as a official photographer again oh, it's it is kind of like yeah. tough yeah I, I went alone yeah so you went with Joe's yeah, yeah I remember yeah, yeah. I remember he having like say okay and you were the badges well I think yeah you gave him some badges mm -hmm. I think he had his own oh. that time because we bought tickets for that one, that show. Oh. Yeah. Do you remember Jules? <laughs> I knew he does. We got a picture together. <laughs> yeah, I got a picture. He had this Instagram oh. profile. Oh my god, I can't forget. Get Jules to come back. Moment. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about it in forget. the camera next time. Get on. <laughs> I'll never, I'll oh never my god, Jules has got lots of attitude. <laughs> but we love you, Jules. Yeah, we love you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So next thing. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your closet because Didi, okay. you have got my favorite design of back. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Alrighty, start. sis. I just want to ask you how many pairs of designer um, bags or handbags or designer stuffs you have? Uh, designer stuff. Um, I've got three bags, I think, as far as I can remember, if I can remember. Yeah. I think three bags. Yeah. One designer shoe, um, two designer watch. <laughs> It Can sounds you? like I'm bragging. Mm -hmm. I'll show you anyway. Yeah, so me So this is my closet. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay, so th this mm. is where all my coats and blazers are here. Mm -hmm. I'll have to go and get it here. So this one is my Prada bag. Oh my god. Do you want me list. to show you? Yes, or? please. Prada is my favorite. Okay. <gasps> Look so at this beauty. This was actually a gift by my husband. Actually, Aww. all of the bags are gift from my husband. I just remember. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the bag, Prada. Good investment. Uh, 
it's a really really good investment I would say uh, um, it does cost you a little bit but it's worth having it you know mm. It's good to spoil yourself now yes, and then as well, is. and it's gonna last you forever. That's yeah. the uh, that's the thing about designer bags. So, are you gonna keep this for your baby? Probably, yeah. yeah <laughs> that would be vintage. Yes, you know? vintage, a very old one. And then this one is Michael, Michael Kors. Kors. Yeah. Oh, this is very popular. Yeah, everybody has got yeah. this one. This is a silver tote. So this one is in tan brown. I oh, love yeah. tan brown. Yeah, I love the one color of as well. Color, yeah. But to be honest, I'm not very fan of Michael Kors. No, no. Um, yeah, it's amazing. I piece. have one, so now yeah. I'm kind of like I'm not going to invest in another one. Yeah. So this is my first and final Michael okay. Kors, I would say. What do you think of the quality, sis? Uh, the quality is all right. The bag itself is very heavy. It's I don't. Uh, this one is not a real proper leather like. Uh, yeah know, the Prada yes. one so yeah. it's very you know bulky I would say if you put um, some your purse and say your DSLR and that's it it's too heavy to carry mm -hmm. the final one oh, I need to oh my god sorry guys I'm making a pregnant <laughs> lady work hard no it's okay oh yeah I think I know this yeah this one is my yeah. first designer bag yeah I remember Paris. it's it was so famous, right? Back mm, in the days. That time like, it was really mm, famous. So. Like people used to put light inside the bag and carry, carry it. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even knew it, this bag was famous at that time when I bought it. Really? And I only found out it was famous after I bought it, you know. Mm. I, I, I went on to Google and then I searched it and I was like, mm. oh, everybody's actually carrying like the fashion blogger. Yeah. And I didn't know that. This is amazing. Fair, so like, what do you bag. think of this bag? Oh, I quality love wise. This bag. Quality do you? is so good. Um, oh. it's all made out of rubber. Yeah. And uh, it's a pretty really good quality. It's going to last me for a long time. I bought it in 2011. I still got it. There's not much uh, scratch here on mm -hmm. the bag. And what I really love about this bag is, you know, you can just wipe it off with wet tissue. Oh yeah. And then just, you know, that's it. That is how you clean. Oh. It's so easy. And it looks quite small, but mm -hmm. you can fit in a lot of stuff. You know, really? You know. And when I went to London Fashion Week, this is the bag I carry. Yes. And I had my big camera like this, Lar. My heels in here. Your and heels in there. This is one of my favorite bags. Again. All of them gifted by my husband. Uh, so price-wise, <laughs> how much is? The, I mean, price-wise. Oh, I don't remember the. Um, I don't remember the price. Um, sorry, um, but the Prada one is the most expensive yes, one. Yes, I can yes. say that Prada. Yeah. I know. Michael Kors was three hundred fifteen pound. I remember that. Three hundred fifteen, three hundred twenty. Wow, that's um, a lot for Michael Kors. Yes, and Ferla, I don't remember the price at all. Um, when I did blogging, I did um, write the price there. So oh, but, okay. off the top of my head, I can't remember oh, okay, at the moment. Sure. Oh, Prada. Any vintage you have in your collection, sis? Uh, I've got vintage, yes. Um, but I'm gonna show you. I, I've got like a vintage bag as well. Two vintage bags, yeah. which are probably in my garage because since I moved from Germany, I've not, you know, gone into my garage and taken those stuff. So I'm going to show you vintage stuff. That is going to be a brooch. So this one is a vintage brooch. I love oh, this one. Yeah. It's so nice. It's I think it looks like um, it looks like uh, someone old, like elderly, will, would actually wear it. But I love it. Mm -hmm. it's, I love the uh, fact that you know how beautiful it is. Like the, oh, um, yeah. it is kind of like a curl yeah. going on, and so it looks really nice. Oh my god! So yeah, if you mm -hmm. so you pair this with your sari. Yeah, no, no, I don't normally wear it with sari. I wear it with my dress. Oh, with like, the dress. Like uh, some of the vintage dress I've got, mm -hmm. and I wear it with that. Oh, <laughs> so okay. I look like a secretary. That's oh. what they used to say when, oh. when I used to wear that in my nah. office. Like they're like, you look like a very old vintage secretary. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So where did you buy that, sis? This one was from a charity shop. I oh. bought it for a pound or two pound. Yeah, really? I love charity shops. Yeah, they I do like that. really good stuff as yeah. well, like charity shops. It's good to go and find vintage stuff. I know. Yeah. Oh, isn't it? It's yeah. beautiful place. Yes. Anyway, so any any key pieces that you are swagging it right now? Uh, your favorite? At the moment, not really because I'm bummed. Um, key pieces. Hold on. I'm so much into off shoulder. Oh yeah, you are, isn't it? Looking at your videos, I can say that totally. <laughs> 
um, I actually bought by my sister-in-law when she was in uh, Nepal for her holiday. I sent her a picture um, and asked her if she could buy it for me and I'll pay her back later. But she was so kind and she was like, oh, you don't have to pay me back. So yeah, it's a, a statement piece. It's quite big, but I love you know, the fact that it is quite big and it is all handmade. Oh, it is handmade? Yeah, this wow. is all handmade and these are like uh, proper stones. Oh and, wow, yeah. it must be very expensive sis. Yeah, quite expensive I think, but she didn't tell me the price, mm. but it's really good. Is it heavy D? It's it's not really that heavy, it's very easy to wear as mm. well, it doesn't fall off easily yeah. and it goes with a lot of outfits I would say and yeah, I actually wear, it's nice to wear in beach as well with swimsuit. Oh wow, yeah, it hey, it's great. very yeah. statement, that's it looks nice with dress as well and I always get like really good compliments with this mm. one and you know one time when I did video uh, with this one everybody was like oh my god that neck yeah. piece is so stunning yeah, yeah. I That's love beautiful. this one. and I don't think this will ever go out of fashion as well no it won't yeah. because it's, it's very one of those pieces yeah. you know you need to have on, in your wardrobe yeah. for sure yeah I love this one okay finished finished I need Pinto. Okay, so I uh, am going to go to the trend. Did you like people were doing events or events? Yeah. yeah. And the Porsche production was doing some kind of events and signature crew or Rusi mm -hmm. Ayo. And the, oh my god, I remember they doing like first catwalk so okay. And the the fashion, yeah. I was I I remember seeing you okay, and I was like, oh I, I and I was like, oh I saw that see somewhere, somewhere can't have <laughs> the YouTube videos are rubber is okay. So you came as involved in what so what what was your main part in, in this show? Yeah. Um the, basically I approached Signature Crew because one of my cousins was part of Signature Crew. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do a fashion show but um I didn't have like um e event um, background or mm -hmm. event experience I've never done it before so I actually wanted to uh, do with them and uh, I approached them I said to them look I've got this brilliant idea I think we should do something for the uh, people who are interested in fashion especially the fashion student who are fashion designer oh. because I didn't think there was a lot of market for mm -hmm. you know for Nepalese student that time I thought I actually um, wanted them to get some exposure through mm -hmm. the show and uh, that is why uh, the show basically started so I approached them and they were more than happy with the you know the idea I had and they, they, they said okay we should do it because it's a brilliant idea and that is how we went ahead and oh my god yeah. that's amazing so you named the show the show we did it together oh, you did all it together. Them, yeah oh my god I did not know that <laughs> I did not know honestly I did not know that you know fashion mm -hmm. beauty but she mm -hmm. had this idea of the so I think the so was amazing season. Yeah, yeah. and the first, in, for the first um, you know fashion show Nepalese fashion show to be held in um, London mm -hmm. that was really really great we had like very good feedback from people and thank you very much to everybody who came that time in 2011 and yeah we had a very good coverage because uh, uh, I was a, a quite known back then um, in Nepal and a lot of media when I told them to uh, you know I was doing a fashion show they were more than happy uh, to do a coverage um, like ECS magazine they did uh, four or five pages of coverage of show oh that time God. in 2011 yeah. four or five pages yeah. that's amazing mm. you know that's and really I amazing. actually wrote whole content and sent them pictures I think I got it here actually really yeah where is it it's here it's here let me show you. Yeah. Sorry, the magazine is really thick. Mm, it's I one of the very good like really? this is the magazine. Do they still do this kind of? Yeah. Oh this is the ECS Living magazine, one of the um, most prestigious, um, you know, um, magazine back home, mm -hmm. and their content is so good. And it's uh, like Vogue, right? Yeah, it's very thick, and this was like their hundred issue. Oh my god! I'll show you. Hold no. On. This one here, see? <gasps> That's Who's the, the show. designer? Can we see? Did you write this all? Yes, I wrote it. I oh wrote it. God. I was it's the one. Subu. Yeah, Subu, mm -hmm. Nisha, mm -hmm. and yeah, other girls. And so they did kind of like see one, two, three, four page coverage. Oh my God, that's show. amazing. Yeah. I would like to say congratulations, sis. Oh, that's really you. amazing. Yeah, we got quite a lot of good feedback from the oh media as well. That's so really amazing. Back home. So I did the show in 2000. 
12. Yeah. yeah, I was not involved. Don't Why? Worry. But, you know. <laughs> and you did it, don't worry. Did you see my collection, did you? you I going? did, yeah. <laughs> it was like tart and yeah. Little, yeah, I remember uh, seeing your collection. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It was very edgy as yeah, well. I, yeah, the journey in the signature crew, the so I enjoyed it mm -hmm. so much. Yeah. But you know, I didn't knew, you know, you were part of it, like mainly you were very big part of it, you know, it would, yeah. if if you were still over there, it would be so much, you know, it would get, I don't know, it's a little bit, no power with him, oh, it's a little bit different, mm -hmm. by looking at you, I might yeah. be inspired to come in YouTube early, yeah. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, anyway, so, I, oh my god, I think that's a lot of talking, sis. So, yeah. last but not the least, are there any message you want to share with the audience? Anything you want to say to them? Anything you want to give me advice, you know? Okay, um, well, I want to say at the end that um, I want people to, you know, pursue um, whatever field they want to be in. Like, whatever field they want, they are compassionate about, passionate like compassionate or passionate the same thing mm -hmm. passionate about or where they aspire to be um, because in our culture I feel like there are a lot of um, you know difficulties especially if you tell your parents you want to get into fashion it's very hard um, you know to make yeah. them understand yeah. because they see fashion as um, dead end yeah and they only support like um, some of the courses like business or mm -hmm. if you are going uh, to study uh, you know Doctor, doctor nurse, or engineers or yeah. nurse yeah um, I feel like um, you should just pursue whatever field you want to be in um, even though if you might not get support from your family friends and family because if you do not pursue what you where you want to be in which field you want to be which field you are passionate about you are not gonna gonna give 100% of yourself into that field uh, because that is not your chosen field and that is not the field you aspire to be in and um, yeah it is important um, you know you try and make them understand but if they don't just you know keep your head held up high work hard and when you yeah. reach your success they will see why you actually wanted to be in that field um, if you don't go into that field where you want to be then you will have a lot of regrets in life you will mm. you'll, you'll be asking yourself what if you know but and all that yeah so go for um, the field you are passionate about and where you aspire to be hard work um, is very important you just need to work hard you know from day one to where you I want to get in so yeah that is what I want to see young especially young Brits yeah Nepis Brits they have got so yeah. so you have got so much, much potential opportunity, yeah. opportunity here especially God, in, a, in England here isn't it it's, it's like a so golden gate you yeah. just have to go and grab, grab it and it. walk hard yeah. you know don't yeah. waste your time all right you guys so that's end of the interview from fashion beauty box says um, and thank you so yeah, much for having I, me I don't Thing that hopefully I didn't make you tired. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Bob is fine. So Aww. hopefully you guys all enjoyed my yeah. um, interview. Um, um, if you want to know more about her, please feel free to follow her at Fashion Beauty Bug. And everything is going to be down below if you want to ask her any personal message, any advice you all want to <laughs> ask. You know, she's genuinely a very friendly person. Oh, you thank know, you. Please. So yeah, if you want to ask her this thing, yeah, you can. Uh, ask me as well. Yeah, I don't. Uh, you can comment me on one of the videos, and I'm always replying to people. I yeah. love replying to people. Or you want to do any collaboration? Just talk to her. But yeah. you know, Bob is soon. <laughs> <laughs> don't know about the time. <laughs> Anyways, so I would like to say, bye, Lace. Choose well. Keep on doing what you do the best, and keep and on smiling. To Lara. Did you like Gordy? Oh, chat to Lara. Yeah, so please subscribe. Yeah, her. thumbs up this video yeah. if you like this video and make sure to subscribe and you know go and check her out. She um, produce okay. once a week currently. Yeah, every so every week, week she yeah. produce a new video and me um, twice, a week, every, twice, twice a week. So yeah. Wednesday and Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. So please feel free to subscribe. Yes, she does Saturdays. Yeah. I do Wednesdays and Saturdays. So yeah. please feel free to subscribe and any new Newcomers, any YouTubers, any bloggers, any newcomers, like especially Nepalese mm -hmm. people, you know, feel free to add us. We have got our own special page, so yeah, yeah feel free to so. add us and let's help each other to grow our community. Eh? Mm -hmm. And or the K1 is me, Bye guys, thank you, Thank you.
Jangan cukup aku